All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Harakak Wadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom taught the Akim out there preaching his word in truth and sincerity. So as you can see, this lesson is going to be on this article right here from naturalnews.com. And it's entitled, In Two Decades, Half of All Jobs Predicted to Be Lost to Automation. And it says... If you think it's difficult to find a job now, it might be considerably more challenging to stay employed in the not too distant future. All right. Yeah, because all these jobs, they're pretty much about to be lost to robots, pretty much because this this um, America is a more so a, a consumer society. So it's not too many jobs out here. Right. Most jobs that most people have is working in warehouses, uh, fast food uh uber you know things that can be replaced by robots pretty much and all that is starting to happen at a slow not even at a slow rate at a fast rate if anything you know because the way that esau looks at it is like why pay somebody to work hour at an hourly rate or whatever when people can protest they can strike you know that you got call out of work you sick whatever go through all the stuff that you deal with with, with having to deal with um employees when you could just have a robot doing all of those things, those same tasks. They got what self driver cars now that will replace Ubers and taxis and everything. All right, they they got robots that could that could um work in the warehouses, the self checkout lines in the um Walmarts, you know, grocery stores. All right. Everything is starting to be is moving towards uh automation, like it's saying in this article, and a lot of jobs are gonna be lost. Here it is, Trump, he was promising to bring back more jobs to America, this and that. Man, you know that promise was full of lies. Because all these jobs are going out the window, all right? They're not finna stay here in America. And a lot of the jobs are going to be lost here in America, all right? Because they um, they can all, most of the jobs here can't, like a lot of the jobs here, they can be done by a machine. So all those type of jobs, they're going to be going out the window, and you already see that transi um, transition going on now. All right. I think um, not too long ago, I read an article going in on how uh, GM, they was they shut down a couple of their buildings. All right. And a lot like over 4000 people lost their job. And instead of having people uh, operating machines to put the, the car parts together, they just bought a, a 3D printing machine. And they're going to like basically have it all 3D printed to create the car. So you could easily lose your job in an instant. And people just got, they they got told last minute, like, hey, you out of there, you know, you're gone. And they just fired them. You don't even get a heads up. That's how the so-called white man does you. All right. And a lot more jobs are going to be done like that. You're seeing it slowly happen and you're just going to continue to see it spreading more and more. You know, more people losing jobs. All right. And that's what is that going to cause more civil unrest? Because a lot of people they, that work these regular jobs and everything, they don't go. They haven't been to school or have any degrees or, or any special skills, so to speak, to to do any other type of work. So if they lose their job, you know, they pretty much they're through. They out there. And, you know, their government, they're, they're not going to be able to afford giving everybody food stamps, government aid, unemployment. You know, that's going to be a more it's going to be making you more dependent upon the government. And they're going to be cutting all those benefits, man, in the near future. They ain't going to just keep on allowing people to just leech off the system, so to speak. All right. So I'm going to continue on in the article. It says that's because automation is expected to replace a high percentage of positions as time goes on. Here is a staggering statistic in the next two decades. Half of all jobs are likely to be eradicated as automation take on those tasks instead. According to the Swedish Foundation of Strategic Science, some of the jobs that are expected to be the hardest hit include business, person slash economist, 46% of jobs expected to be replaced by automation, engineer, 56% is, is replaced is expected to be replaced and accounting assistant 97% is expected to be replaced other job types that 
are also being heavily replaced by automation, expected to be in the hundreds of thousands of jobs in the next 20 years are those in retail and healthcare. And 98% of models are expected to be replaced by automation. So it looks like the era of Christy Brinkley, Cindy Crawford, Gazelle, and Kendall Jenner might be winding down. Many people up until now have known about automation such as robots and computers replacing jobs formerly done by humans. Many assume that the jobs being replaced were only those involved in agriculture, manufacturing, and warehouses, but based on the incredibly high numbers of unexpected types of jobs being replaced, it is clear that automation can, can and does replace many other types of jobs, even those that have been considered as ones that only humans can could do. Yeah, so those things I was mentioning, they're mentioning even more things outside of that. Because I was mentioning stuff like, you know, manufacturing, warehouses, agriculture, and they're going into things outside of that. Look at all the other jobs they just mentioned and the, um, that's going to be lost. You know, a business person slash economist, all right, an engineer, all right, accounting assistant, you know, even even females, models, all right, a lot of the, a lot of females, they, that's where they make their money at, trying to be a model, so you females, you're going to get it too, all right, you ain't going to be able to just make money being IG models or models in general, all right, like the article going into, it's going, you're going to be replaced by automation, all right, so this is going to be affecting everyone, not just the men, it's going to be affecting the men and the women, and they clearly stated that. 98% of models. That's pretty much 100%. Alright. Now I continue on on. But based on the inc incredibly high numbers of unexpected types of jobs being replaced. It is clear that automation can and does replace many other types of jobs. Even those that have been considered as ones that only humans can do. Apparently, automation and robots can use human-like traits to do jobs that many people assume could only be done by humans. And I'm going to grab a, a quick scripture. This is Ecclesiastes on the 12 and 3. In the day when, when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because they are few. And it's going to be, it's, it's the grinding is ceasing. All right. That work is it's no more work, man. All right. And you can start, you're going to just see it decline more and more over time. Like the article is going into. All right. It's going to be less and less jobs out there. All right. This isn't going to be a trend that just happens slowly. According to the article, it's going to. Two decades, that's like 20 years, yet, you know, this place is going to be destroyed before then. Still, we're going to see it happening, you know. It's going to be going, going during that, like, as this place continues to go on. And like I said, you're starting to see it now already with the GM, other jobs, uh, retail, stores. All right. They're, they're all starting to include that automation within those things, man. To replace the workers there so they don't, they don't have to pay no minimum wage to nobody. They can just put the money, invest the money into the machine and never have to worry about paying again. All right. That, that pretty much instead of having a human slave, they could just have robot slaves. You know, that's how Esau is looking at it. And that's going to cause you people to have no work. So how are you going to survive out here, man? It's going to be more hell upon you people out here. The work is going to, it's going to be even less work. It's barely work now. Like the article is mentioned, you think it's hard to find a job now. Hey, it's going to be even harder in the near future, all right, sooner than later. But continuing on, it says, And the grinders cease because they are few, and those that look out the windows be darkened. Yeah, your 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 outlook on, on society is being darkened, man. All right? You don't have any more hope in America. You don't even think that it's um it's going to be, it's, it's a so-called light at the end of the tunnel. There is no light at the end of the tunnel. It's just it's a dark tunnel for you, all right? Because there's no hope here in America. All the jobs are out the window, and the jobs are going to continue to be out the window, man. All right? 
And it said even even with the jobs that people thought only people uh, humans can do are going to be replaced by automation. All right. So it's going to be real bad out here, man. That's going to just be more hell for you people in America. And you people are already catching hell try, trying to be a slave. You're not even going to be able to attempt to, to be a slave anymore. You're not going to be able to have three jobs anymore. All right. All those different part time jobs that you got, they're going to all be replaced by machines. And then what are you going to do? You know, you, you're through pretty much. There's nothing you can do at that point. All right. And why is that? Because you put your trust in this society, man. So you ain't got you putting your trust in the society is look is major your outlook on life darkened because you're there's no hope in America. All right. You believed in the false lies of the so-called white man, and now he's just cutting you off. All right. Cold turkey. All right, continue on to verse four. It says, And the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up. At the voice of the bird and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Yeah. And the grinding is being brought low and the music is, is at an all time low as well, man. It's just nothing but trash music being made and the apostles always mention that, man. Everything is going, just being done now. All right. It's at a precipitous decline. It's like at the lowest state, you know. And that's why going into the jobs, that's why there's no work be here, man. America is done. It's like what is nothing it has nothing else to offer but more hell that's the only thing that it has to offer you people is more hell all right nothing good now i'm gonna go back to this article and read it a little bit more now i'm gonna continue on in the section where it starts with alarming and it says alarming automation replaces jobs faster than anticipated automation has been expected to replace high numbers of jobs but in recent years the piece the pace has picked up much faster than economists anticipated stephen foster head of the libertarian think tank reform reformist reform institute reform institute says that just in the last five years, close to 500,000 jobs in Sweden have been eliminated as a result of automation. And that's not even in um, two decades, like the article was saying earlier. It was saying in two decades that half of the, all the jobs would be eradicated in America. And in Sweden, it only took five years for 500,000 jobs to be lost. So how much more in America, you know? Because there's a lot of jobs that can be easily replaced by machines, all right? Just like Sweden. So continuing on, it says, The alarming trend of automation replacing jobs that for many years have been done by humans has been called by some the fourth industrial revolution. Indeed, the ramifications of the trend are just as far reaching any previous revolution and upheaval that has taken place in the working world. Unfortunately, many job holders and leaders in the working world are not taking the trend of automation replacing jobs seriously enough. Now is the time to plan ahead and come up with workarounds and ways to survive. Yeah, and you people, you don't plan for nothing, man. All right, that's why it's, it's just like the scriptures say, it's going to come as a thief in the night, just like the destruction. All this hell is going to come upon you as a thief in the night. You're not preparing yourself, man. You're not planning ahead. You don't even think that it's going to happen. These people in the world, they don't. how many people out here really know that automation is a, a, a actual thing that's going on and it's going to replace a lot of jobs more than like and their jobs more than likely, you know? Like I said in the article right here, people are not taking it seriously enough, man. All right? Because it's saying now is the time to plan. These people, look at these people in the world. Do you think they planning for this, man? No. Nah. They they live in it paycheck to paycheck. So they damn sure ain't planning for no automation to happen, man. So when this happens, man, you people in America are going to be done, all right? And there's no, there's no, like, it's going into solutions for the job killing trend in the article. But there is no solution, man. America's done. It ain't going to be no jobs out here for you average, regular, degular Americans out here, man. All right. 
you people don't have any skills or any anything else to offer you that's why these people most people work regular jobs retail all right you work in a in an office on a picking up phone calls and shit you you a waiter in a warehouse a uber driver all right doing doing things that that doesn't require any skill doing things that can easily be replaced at the drop of a dime and that's what the so-called white man is planning to do to many of the jobs here in america man all right he's going to replace all of these jobs sooner than later and like it says in the article these people and the, they're not taking it seriously look at sweden like it just said five hundred thousand jobs was lost five years how much more in america because it's in the process of making that happen, doing automation, man. All right. Like I mentioned with the GM, the manufacturing, all right, the 3D printing and stuff. Then you got the out there in China with the gooks. They got the robots in the, um, in the, in the, uh, the fucking restaurants serving you food, cooking. Like you order it from a machine instead of dealing with people. This is really a, a thing that's going on and happening faster than these people really believe man and understand that's why it's going to just hit you out of nowhere and you people are going to be done all right yeah i ain't gonna really read that section that was that was like this last section about the solutions because really ain't it's no solution america's through all right so there's no there's no way to save it or your job this is Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear of rule, the people mourn. And that's right. The people, they're, they're going to be mourning even more so, man. All right. As this place continues on. Because they're not even, they don't even understand the, the uh, serious, seriousness of the matter, man. The gravity of the matter. How you're along with all the other hell that's going to be going on in America. You your job is going to be lost. All right, most people in America they're working jobs that can be replaced. The average regular family, all right, they're doing the grunt the grunt work, so to speak, and that's that's our people. Two thirds of our people, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, majority of y'all are all doing grunt work type jobs that doesn't require any skill and that can easily be replaced. And you don't have any other type of skill to go into another job field. You'll have to be going to school or doing some other BS to try to get into another job, but you'll already be through. You can't afford to do that. You're living paycheck to paycheck, like I said. All right. So if you lose your job, it's a wrap. You're going homeless. You're 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 uh you're you're very dependent upon the government. All right. So the hell in America is just increasing more and more, and that outlook on life is being darkened. All right, as it says in Ecclesiastes, the twelfth chapter, man. And that's why the people are, are going to continue to mourn because the wicked are in rulership, you so-called white people. Here it is. They, they, they used our people as slaves to build up America to where, where it is now. And now that they've used you to get it to where now they have machines to replace you, they don't need you anymore. So now they're just going to cut you off and replace you with machines and just throw you back out there and like, hey, go, go, you know, to get the hell out of here pretty much. And what's the people going to do with that happens? There's going to be a civil unrest the, and and it's going to lead into everything else going on. All right. Along with all the other chaos and confusion going on in America. This is just another thing that's going to happen. All right. And this is another sign that America is done. All right. Automation is going to be taking a lot of more jobs here in America. And you're going to start seeing a lot more homelessness. And a lot more people rioting, really. A lot more civil unrest. Just straight chaos and confusion, man. All right. Hey, so with that, the Lord's will, the lesson was edifying. And I want to give all praises again to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to all the Akim out there preaching his word in truth and sincerity. Shalom. Mm-hmm.